we expect by this afternoon to have the information we need uh, from the uh, Ways and Means Committee. And then um, we will we will vote on the rule and then on the bill. The, those votes hopefully will take place later this afternoon. All right, that was House Speaker Nancy Pelosi earlier today talking about the Democrats' intent to vote on their massive social spending bill, which she just confirmed will be voted on this evening. Democrats have been awaiting the final cost analysis for the bill from the Congressional Budget Office, which just came out within the last hour. The CBO score says the bill will add $367 billion to the deficit over 10 years with $1.7 trillion dollars in spending. Well, joining us now to discuss all this is New York Republican Congresswoman Claudia Tenney. Congresswoman, welcome back to the show. Thank you. Great to be on. All right. Uh, a lot of people best were... Best backdrop ever. <laughs> you get extra points for <laughs> yeah. that. Well, a lot of people were waiting for this score, specifically moderate Democrats who said they were going to hold out on voting right. for it. The White House says it's going to cost nothing. We're seeing that it is going to cost something. So how is this going to make moderate Democrats vote? Is this going to be the key that they needed that's going to push them over to say yes, or will this hold them back? Well, first of all, when I was in the state assembly, they would come out with these horrible omnibus bills, and they called them the big ugly this is the biggest big ugly in our nation's history. It is the ugliest bill. It's cobbled together all kinds of uh, leverages for everyone. The moderates are getting their state and local tax deduction, which was their, you know, this their uh, hard line. We have to have that, which actually provides billions of dollars in tax breaks to the wealthiest in our communities. The, as you see, the CBO score when Joe Biden kept saying it was zero, three hundred and sixty-seven billion. We're creating this 87,000 new IRS agents. Do you think they're going to go after those rich people who are now getting the state and local tax deduction and billions in tax savings? No, they're going to go back after the average people. And then look at, you know, just the size of the civilian climate poor. These are going to be people otherwise known as I call them the civilian climate militia. They're larger, almost twice the size as active duty Marines. My son is a Marine Corps officer right now. There are about 182,000 active Marines. The Civilian Climate Corps is going to be over 300,000. These are going to be people that are going to go out. They're not going to go after the big giants. They're going to be going after the small businesses, the local in our communities. This is going to be a catastrophe, a huge monstrosity that's going to spend us into oblivion, high taxes, huge deficits. And yet they've leveraged the moderates, the progressives and everybody to come together you will not see a single Republican vote on this bill. It is not bipartisan. It is, it is going to be devastating across the nation. Let's just hope they hold the line in the Senate. Uh, they better, because I think this is the bigger plan to get everyone more addicted to government, push more government out there, mm -hmm. create what I've always said. You know this. You saw it in your book right behind you. They're a radical nation. This is, the po this is their goal, to create more people addicted to government to spend more, to create more radical policies. And, and mm -hmm. speaking of that, beyond this crazy bill and everything that's going on at the border, House Democrats are about to pass a massive measure for illegal immigrants. Most people with a brain are calling it amnesty. Here's what it does. Under the latest draft, illegal immigrants would be given temporary protection from deportation through what is called parole for a period of five years. Those who arrived in the U.S. prior to 2011, which estimates, and I think this is on the low end, it's seven million, could apply for a five-year renewable employment authorization. This is part of the radical nation, Congresswoman. Spend more, bring more people into this country, allow them to work here, and eventually make them citizens. Complete disregard for the American worker. The people here yeah. are going to have their jobs displaced by this. Huge numbers. And this is actually something that was in DACA, something that we talked about actually kind of reforming what was in DACA, giving these people an opportunity to get a chance to be legalized, but not to go to the front of the line. And this is putting them at the front of the line when millions of people are trying to get into this country legally. And this is all going to be at the expense of the taxpayers, in addition to all the money we're going to be spending just to keep this bill going. And remember, this whole bill is being done on what's called reconciliation because they don't have the votes in the Senate to get it through. So it will be interesting to see what the parliamentarian does uh, in addition to trying to get some of these things through. That's why a lot of this immigration was pulled out of this bill, because they're going to try to do that separately. Yes. Let's hope we can stop this as well. 
I hope so. I mean, I know a lot of people are not happy with what is happening at the border. If Kamala Harris's uh, numbers, percentages of how people think she's doing has anything to do with that. And speaking of her, uh, she's been on a lot of criticism lately. She was asked about that today on Good Morning America. Here was her response. So you don't feel misused or underused? No, I don't. I am very, very excited about the work that we have accomplished, but I am also absolutely, absolutely clear-eyed that there is a lot more to do and we're going to get it done. I don't know how she deals with those tough questions. <laughs> Obviously, this is a response to that CNN article that came out on her. Uh, but now it's time for her to prove herself. Do you think she's going to go back down to the border again? I know. The failed borders oh. are goes to the El Paso sector and not to the Rio Grande sector. She's avoiding this. Joe Biden, we as apparently has never been to the border from all the evidence we can find. And then today, uh, just breaking news, her, her communications director resigned. And then, you know, this is following this embarrassing moment she had when they went to go sign the infrastructure bill and they announced somebody else. And she said, oh, no, no, not yet. I got to talk first. I mean, she is being treated as if as if she's really not in an important position. Yet she may be our president sooner than we think because of the situation with Joe Biden and his declining situation. So I don't know. It's it is you know, she obviously doesn't have the skill set to lead. She's not proving herself. She's been given some hard tasks. She's not succeeding at them. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.